Hey guys, Fry here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve Rubik's Cube step by step. Well, for lots of people, including me, thought that this Rubik's Cube is too complicated for their brains and would never solve one in their lives. But if you take a Rubik's Cube apart and look at it, it is not hard to realize that the Rubik's Cube is just made up by pieces that stick together it is and the pieces are impossible to be broken or taken apart without breaking it. A normal Rubik's Cube is made up by 12 of those edge pieces that contain two colors on it and eight corner pieces that contain three colors on it. And when you do a turn, you do not just turn the stickers on the face, but you turn all the pieces on the layer that you're turning. And the center pieces, well, center pieces are not actual pieces because they always stay relatively the same. Here's a core of the Rubik's Cube. So they always stay relatively the same. By saying that, I mean, if you do some random spins like this, when yellow's on top and white is on bottom, you can see that blue is always on the left of red and green is always on the left of orange, no matter what turns I do. Like, like if I do some random rotations, and then I put yellow on top again, white on bottom again, I can see that same orientation. Alright, enough theoretical stuff. Let's move on to the actual solving. So first thing we need to do is solve the four edge pieces that contain white on it to form a white cross, that every pieces that are solved have a white on it that can that connect to the white center and has its other color connected to the other center. To make things easier, we normally split the step up into two steps. So first, form a white daisy that contain a yellow center in it and all the white pieces attach to the yellow center. And then we do the next step to move all the white pieces down and then we form the cross. Now this cube as you can see is messed up and then for the first step solving the yellow daisy or the white daisy you want to say is you find the edge pieces like this that has white on it and then try to find a way to attach it to the yellow center for example, this one, you move the left layer to make it attach to, to the yellow center. And then I see this one, make it attach to it. And then this one, well, for this one, it's a bit tricky because you cannot attach it to the center with one move. This is not attaching to the center because the white is here and the yellow center is here. So for this case, when the white piece is either on the side of the top layer or on the side of the bottom layer like this you need to first move it to the top and then you want to move it to the middle layer now you want to move the bottom layer that has all the white pieces that you made and then attach it to the yellow center. Okay, another example. So for this one, I first saw this that can be attached to the yellow center with one move. And then I saw these two. So move this one down to attach to, to the yellow center and then move this one down to attach to the yellow center. And now this one, move, move it down to attach to the yellow center. Okay, another example here you can see that this piece is not attached to the yellow center, but we can attach it to the yellow center with one move. But this piece is also a white edge piece, which can be interrupted or can be pushed out of the way if you do this. So now you want to move this out of the way to create a space for this one and then attach it to the center and then so this so is this one. If you move it down, this one will be interrupted. So you, you do not want to do this. 
and then try to move the yellow layer or the layer with the yellow center until you find a space for it and then use one move to move it down. Next we have to move all the white edges down and make it attach to the white center and it also attaches to the center that is on the side. So to do this we need to find a white edge piece and then just move it across to see if the side color matches the side center. So when this matches you just turn the layer twice to make it attach to the center and you can also notice that both sides of it are attached to the center. So this piece is actually solved now and then we carry on with the next pieces. So this one we can see that it is solved already so we can just move it 180 degrees to make it attach to the white center and then move on to the next white piece. So move this one across. Does it match? Yes it does. And then 180 degrees. And then this last white edge piece, move it across. No, it doesn't match. Again, yes, it matches. So move 180 degrees. Now we have the white cross solved. Okay, another example, we find a white edge piece move the bottom layer across this one matches so move it down and then move it move on to the next one so move on to this one and then turn the bottom layer to see if it matches now it matches so move it down next one we do the same thing when it matches we move it down and then for this one is our last piece we do the same thing move it across across when it matches we move it down the next step is solving the first layer by doing it we have to find white corner pieces corner pieces as we mentioned earlier are one of those pieces that contain three colors on it like this one if we see it as one thing it has white and two random colors that are not yellow and then we have to move it on top of the place that it has to be in so this one is white green red so we can find white and then we find the green center piece so green and red so this one has to go to here now we need to learn an algorithm which is called the four mover or you can tell us something else if you want so it is like this move the right layer up Move the top layer left, down, right. And then you can see that it is solved. Carry on with the next one. This is white, green, orange. Now I find white, and then green is here, orange is here. So it has to be here. So find that piece again, it's over here. And then move it all the way above the slot that it is supposed to be. And then repeat the four mover, white layer up, left, down, right, 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 until you see it is solved. Well, you can repeat as many times as it needs. For example, this one, this one. Um, if you are a, an advanced player, you would notice that this one can be solved with only one of those algorithms. So one, and boom, it is solved. And then moving on to the next one, it is white, red, blue. So white, red, blue. So it has to go here. And then we move it above the place where we have to pull it put it and then repeat the algorithm until we solve it and now it is solved the first layer here is a special case that is not covered 
in the last example. So this one, this corner contains a white, so that it has to be on the bottom layer. And where does it have to go? It has white, green, orange. So white, green, orange. So it is in its own spot, but it is not solved. So for this type of cases, you just put it on your bottom right and then repeat the algorithm as usual. Two, three, four. And until it is solved. And same as another, pay, an, another case. So for this case, you do the same thing. When it's faced right or front, you do the same thing. So up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right. And then the first layer is solved. The next step is solving the second layer. For the second layer, we have to find the edge pieces that doesn't contain white. I mean yellow, sorry. So the edge pieces that doesn't contain yellow, like this one, well, this one contains a yellow, so this one is not one of those pieces that we're trying to find. So once we find one of those pieces, we just attach it to the center that is the same color with it. So for example, this one is blue, orange, and we attach the side color to the center that has the same color on it. And then to solve it, we, we have to see that this piece is orange blue and this one is orange green so so obviously we're not going to put it here instead we're going to see orange blue so we're going to put it here now we have to learn an algorithm an algorithm is is a set of moves that you do to solve cases that occur very often like this one for the algorithm, you move the piece away from the place where it's supposed to be. So move it away from the place and then move the place where it's, where it's supposed to be up. And then move this back to attach to the center. And then move this one down. Move this one right again. Move this one up move this one in, and then boom. And then there's, and then we do the same thing. And then there's also the mirrored algorithm for it. It's also the same, but it's just done with your left hand. So move it away, move the slot up, move this one back, and move this to attach the piece to here. Move this back down, move this again to, to this side, and then move this up, move this back, and then boom. A tricky case when this piece is in its correct spot, but it is just not oriented correctly, which means this is not solved. So for this case, we just take a random piece, do the algorithm, either one is okay, move it away, move it up, move it back, move it down, move it back, and then move the front layer up insert and then we can see that this piece is out of the slot and we can do the same normal thing that we do away up back down back move the front layer up and then put this back in for our next step we have to solve the edge pieces on the top and form a yellow cross so we first just ignore the corner pieces as we are not going to solve it at this stage. So if this L shape occurs, 
we put the L shape on the top left corner and then we move the front layer this direction clockwise and then do the algorithm the form over algorithm I mentioned earlier up left down right up left down right and then restore this now in this case when you see a yellow line in the middle you you place it horizontal to yourself like this and then turn the F layer or the front layer do the full mover up left down right once and then move it back down in this case when there is no lines or no L shapes we just do this algorithm once move the front layer up left down right and restore it and then we magically turn it into another case which is the L case we know or and now we just solve it normally move the front layer do the four mover twice one up left down right up left down right and then restore the front layer our next step is orient all the pieces on the top side or on the top face and make this whole face yellow so in this case when there is when there are two corners or two pieces that are not oriented correctly like this one is not oriented correctly because this one is supposed to the yellow is supposed to face this way but it is supposed to but it is facing this way and this one is facing this way but it is supposed to be facing this way so now we just need to rem remember one thing if there is two pieces that are not solved like this one one two we put a yellow on the back corner here over here and then we do an algorithm it's like this you move the right layer down move it across move the right layer back up and move this across again and then move the right layer down across twice and up and if there is four pieces that are oriented incorrectly like this one they the all the corner pieces don't have the yellow facing up so in this case instead of putting a yellow on the back here you put the yellow on the left so if there's two that are missing you put it on the back if there's four that are missing you put it on the side and then you do the same algorithm and also you can memorize it as move it down so on the right hand you just move it down up down and up it's really simple and then uh, and on the left hand you just do one one two and go back up after doing that step you're most likely to get a case like this where there's one corner oriented correctly and now you just have to find the piece that doesn't face the opposite side of where the huge block is if you see this as a block so this one this is opposite to the side where this huge block is so it's not this piece then this side the, and then this piece is in the middle and we do not look at the middle piece this piece is not facing the opposite side of the block this is facing 90 degrees away from the block so we put this piece on the back to make the yellow side of the piece at the back and then if it is if the piece is on your left you do the algorithm we just mentioned but with your left hand so 
down sorry down one down up one down two up when this case occurs so this one is facing opposite the big the giant block over here this one's facing the opposite this one's in the middle so we don't look at it and then this one is facing 90 degrees away from the block so we just put this piece or this yellow color on your back and then do the algorithm I mean the first one with your right hand down across up across down across across up at this stage your cube will look something like this with the yellow side solved and all other pieces solved on the bottom but this this like a ring thing is not solved and here you have two cases one of them is when you have two colors that are matching on the ends of a side so we call this a headlight and we're just going to call it a headlight in the rest of the video so here you need to learn another algorithm it goes like this right up left down right is basically just the four mover and then move the right layer down move the front layer left right layer goes up twice front layer i mean top layer goes right right layer goes down top layer goes right again right layer goes up top layer goes left right layer goes down and then restore front layer and now you can see that all the all the corner pieces are solved because if you match them all you can see that all the corner pieces like like this one is in the correct spot this one is in the correct spot this one is in the correct spot and this one is in the correct spot the other case when you have no headlights like these two are not matching 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 and now we just repeat that algorithm but twice so first time do the four mover and then move it down front layer up move the right layer up twice top layer right right layer down top layer right again right layer up top layer left right layer down restore front layer and then we can see that there is a headlight that occurs well this looks like a bar but if we ignore the center I mean the middle piece or the edge piece in the middle this is a headlight so we just put the headlights on your left and then repeat the algorithm full mover and then move the right layer down front layer left right layer twice top layer right right layer down top layer twice again I mean right again right layer up top layer left right layer down and restore the front layer now after we solved all the corner pieces on the yellow side we now have all four p the um the four edge pieces left unsolved for solving this one we take a look if there's a bar on the back or a giant block if there is a giant block somewhere on the block I mean somewhere on the top layer you do this so first you move the right layer up just like the four mover and then do the left-handed four mover do the right hand four mover five times and then do the left-handed four mover five times
so that should solve the cube. But if it isn't solved, just repeat the same thing again, and that would solve the cube. But if you do not see a bar anywhere on the top layer, so, so all of these were misoriented or unsolved, you just do the same thing. Four mover, left-handed four mover, right-handed four mover five times. And then left-handed form over five times. Sorry. And then th this case, we just saw a curse. And then we do the same thing again. Left-handed form over. Right-handed five times. And then left handed five times. And then re repeat it because it is not solved. So right handed four mover, left handed four mover, right handed four mover five times. Left handed four mover five times. And boom, the cube is solved. Okay, after the tutorial, let's have an example solve. So this is a randomly scrambled cube. So now we just follow the steps, find the yellow center, and then find a white piece, move it down, make it attach to the yellow center, find another one, move it so that it comes to the middle layer, and then move it down, attach this one, down, attach, move this away so that it doesn't get caught. And then now this one is matching, so move, move it down. We turn the bottom layer until this one's matching, move it down. The next piece. When this one is matching, move it down. And then for the next piece, we do the same thing. For the first layer, we're just going to do the things I taught. So, four mover, right, left, down, right. Ne next piece, this one is white, blue, orange. So, white, blue, orange. One, two, three, four, five, until it is solved. And then we find the next piece. This one is on top. So one, two, three, four, five. It seems like we've solved the first layer, but if we take a close look, you can see that this piece is misoriented. So we do the same thing, but just put it, put it on the bottom right. One, two, until it is solved. And then we find a piece, a edge piece that doesn't contain a yellow on it. And then do the algorithm, move it away, move the place where it's, suppo where it's supposed to be up, move it back down, down, move it towards it, and then front layer up, move it, Restore. See if we can find another piece. This one. Attach it to the center. This one goes to here because it is orange blue. And this one is orange blue. So away, up, away, I mean back, down, back, front layer, back, front layer restore. And then now we have one of those special cases. So let's do the thing. Pretend that we're inserting this one into here. So now we have this one on the top layer. So attach it to the algorithm. And boom. So now we just follow the step. 
we do this one is line so we do move the front layer do the form mover once move the front layer back and now we have four pieces misoriented so put it on the left and then do the algorithm right left up across down across across up in this case this one is opposite to where the block is because this one is pointing this way this one is in the middle and this one is not so put it on the back put the yellow piece on the back and then down across up across down across across up now we see a headlight here because these two are matching if we ignore this one if we ignore the piece in the middle so do the algorithm full mover down front layer up up right down right full mover but the last step is a front move so now we do the, that algorithm because we can't find any bars on the top so one on the right the other one on the left five times on the right and then five times on the left and now we see a bar here so make it so rotate it and then make it face towards you and then do that algorithm right once left once right five times left five times and now your Rubik's Cube is solved the first solve of an average person is around 15 minutes so challenge yourself and then get better and thank you for watching and this video took a lot of effort and please subscribe and leave a like thank you